Hey, today's August 30th, 2015. We are on our way to uh, Norris Dam to go hike. It's awesome, very warm, partly cloudy, 83 degrees, a uh, little humid, but we'll make it. We're gonna do a 3.6 mile on the Lakeview Trail, which isn't that bad. It's just got a little spike of a hill in it. Mm-hmm. That's our book. Oh, check out the book, Knoxville, five-star rated trails. Some fantastic trails in here. Today is the... Today is the first day in a while that we've gone hiking and we've got some talismans that this little buddy is going to be going on all those sorts of trails with me for the very first time in my new Osprey pack, 18 liter, green, kind of packed right now with a bunch of stuff, but we're going to try out my hammock for the first time. All right, we're just getting started. Chickadee, hey. Trail Sparrow, and s oh, <laughs> Smile. I can't remember Turtle. So, Chickadee's got our new pack on. What do we got? Osprey. This is the Mira 18 hydration pack with a hydraulics uh, three liter. Uh, first hike with this, and I've just switched over to the Manta uh, 36 again with the Osprey hydraulics three liter bag in that. Trail Sparrow's got one of our little leftovers. Hasn't got a new pack for her yet. Uh, we're not going to do a review on the Mira or the Manta. They're all over YouTube. Check them out. Uh, we'll keep you updated along the way. It's been a good trail so far. Nice level trail. Just coming back down a section. It's all washed out. Luckily they put some steps in for us. But Pretty views of the lake. Should be about another mile. And then we switch back up to the High Point Trail, which goes up for about three quarters of a mile with five or 600 feet elevation change. I'll check in with you there. Still making our way, enjoying the trail, knowing that the High Point Trail, hello, knowing that the High Point Trail is coming up pretty soon. Right along the shores of Norris Lake. I'll tell you right now, when we get up, when we start walking up that high place, What's spot that? where all of us are gonna die when we get up that, start to get up that high peak. Yeah, I'm kind of dreading going up that, but it's coming. The trail sparrow picked up a cute little tree frog. Whoops! Whoops! There he goes. <laughs> all right, so that's where we came from. Lakeview Trail keeps going. Another 1.6 miles to Norris Lake that way, and up this way to the high point, just under half a mile, 500 vertical feet. I'm going to talk to you now because I don't think I'll be talking at the top. Still climbing the hill, up, down, it's pretty. All right, so I'm not sure exactly what we got going on. The lake is down there. And I keep waiting for this big hill, but you can see the skyline right there. So unless that's just a fault summit, and up beyond Turtle there, there's another peak. Maybe I made it up this thing. I'll let you know. Chickadee needing to take a bathroom break. Oh, got our fancy little wipes. Biodegradable. Of course. All right, Shaletta, what do you got for footwear on today? Keens. How are they working out for you? They don't have any tread on the bottom, so Let's I fell. The uh oh, turn around. Uh oh, got a hole. I fell. But nothing on her palms. So we're going to change your footwear next time? Yes. To Crocs. No, right. nope. Go ahead, jump up there, turtle. And this is, since he was three years old, back up a little Good bit. Tread. Since you're three years old, this is about all he's ever yeah. worn. He's known at school for being the croc kid. And yeah, there's like no tread left. And he still jumps around like a billy goat. I haven't fallen yet, so. He should be called billy goat. Maybe no. we'll change from. No, I'm turtle. I'm not turtle billy to goat. billy goat. I'm not billy goat. 
Just had a big hawk swoop in while we're taking a water break. Let's see how close it'll let us get to it. Let me do it. Let me do it. No. Two or three red tail hawks that have come in and flown right beside us. Sorry about the shaky. Oh, there she goes. Well, landed up there. We'll see if we All find right, good her. Good news, again. looks like we made it to the top. We just got in our new hammock for chickadee. Remember what kind you got? Grand trunk. That's right, we're gonna break those out next weekend. We're still waiting on the kids to come. And I'm too heavy for Grand Trunk, so I went with the Eno Double Nest. Looking to get the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC eventually, but uh, budget didn't allow for that. But Trail Sparrow said, I got hungry, so I'm going to change. She's strapped on a food bag. Definitely the most <laughs> innovative snack idea I've ever seen. I'm waiting to see her eat soup. Today, Trail Sparrow tried it out. What do you think? It was good. And this will be Chickadee's Maiden Hang. They're nice little hammocks if nobody's checked them out before. Uh, Grand Trunk yep. Ultralight. Uh, 12 ounces, 20 bucks. You really can't go wrong. Certainly it takes a little bit getting used to um, being in a hammock. We're going out on our first trip next week um, for just a one night overnight on Labor Day, I think. We'll uh, give it a try. Turtle still waiting on his coming in. He's boycotting chicken. All right, people. So, good news is we're heading downhill. I'd love to say that I liked hiking all the time, but um, I can officially say I like half of every hike that she takes me on. <laughs> the downhill. So, I could do this for days. We're uh, the downside of this hike. We hike back into the back end of the... Uh, eastern side of the state camp and a little bit more along the river and then we'll be back at the trailhead we'll check in and give you a quick little trail recap once we're down there Bye -bye. chickadee's still talking about how great her hammock is but she's talking about being able to feel the cool underneath her so we're gonna have to figure out something until we can get under quilts oh, we may watch your back yes you're right sparrow it can work as a chair and we'll see we might go get some yoga mats or we may pick up uh, my buddy Jeremy who got me moved down here and then moved to Arizona he uses a piece of reflectix and he said that that works pretty well so we'll uh, we'll see what happens it's amazing how much more oxygen there is on the downside of the hill All right, looks like we didn't go quite where we we're supposed to but we found our bearings and we're going to be able to get back again. We're about a half mile left. What a gorgeous old tree. I don't know what kind that is, but it sure is big and beautiful. Get over there. Our trail has changed a little bit. We swapped to the blue blazes. Thought it might be a little bit more interesting. Instead, it put us back out on the main road about a mile from where we're parked. So, we went on an adventure. We certainly went on an adventure. We got to hike a new section of trail, but, but unfortunately, it put us out on the road a mile from where we belong. So, Turtle decided to land her a tree back there. We'll go get him. I'd like to see a big pickup truck come by. I'm not too proud to hitchhike. Little raccoon climbing the tree over there. We just got back to pick up Turtle and he had a visitor. Yep, this, this mild raccoon. There he is, just a little bitty baby. Here are our quick little trail recap. There's the famed headwaters of the Clinch River. Wonderful world-class trout fishing. And there's Norris Lake. 
And there's them right there. We parked right over there. We've just come across to give you an idea of where we went. Chickadee can kind of explain our hike to you a little bit. Total is 4.5 miles. We went along this shoreline, probably way out to where you can still see it, and cut across and covered this ridge, went to the highest ridge that you can see, and actually came out onto the road, this one that winds all the way down, about a mile down from where our car was parked and had to walk all the way up right on there. the asphalt uh, right. to our car and just drove over, over over here just like mike just like you said what do you think guys good hike long hike it was what it was long we haven't hiked in a while so four and a half miles felt like a long everybody time. felt with me my croc statement is still proven to be the best croc shoes for the hike turtles oh so humble croc shoes. endorsing the croc shoes $20 hiking. He'd hike the whole I'm PCT. I'm slapping a you know. Nike sticker on those next time. All right. It was fantastic. Awesome. Two thumbs up. I'll put one thumb up. One thumb. What would giving us two thumbs? One and a half. Ah, more food. <laughs> Everybody's hungry. We gotta go find some chow. Take care. Thanks for watching. God bless.